Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I will be starting the process of transforming my mom's walk-in closet. We will be building a new total custom system built from scratch to make a more open walk-in closet. Let's go ahead and get started in transforming this closet. For my popcorn ceiling removal, I'm spraying it down with hot water and vinegar. It's no certain ratio, I just mix it all together in a spray bottle and sprayed it on the ceiling and allowed it to sit for 20 minutes and then it was ready to scrape off. Hey everybody, it is day three of this makeover. So last night I finished up all of the ceilings. Today's plan is to paint the ceilings, build the base and um, pull up some of the carpet and hopefully build some of the build ins. So I'm gonna show you all what we're looking like and how far we progressed last night. So here are the ceilings. I sanded them all down so they're really smooth. Um, so we can paint and then I filled in some of the holes also so all the walls are patched I'm going to actually wait to um paint the walls and when I paint the built-ins because I'm going to use a spray a uh, paint sprayer but I think I'm going to go ahead and take this door off also I'm starting off with building a base using 2x4s and this base will support my boxes that will hold my wardrobe and for that I made sure that it was 19 inches because my boxes will actually be 18 inches so I want to leave that additional inch so I can install trim later. I'm now cutting down my lumber to build my boxes. I decided to go with birch plywood and this is 3 fourths of an inch and I'm using my circular saw attached to a Craig saw guide. This helps me to make the straightest cuts possible because I cannot for some reason keep my circular saw straight so this helps so much and it's a very affordable option if you don't have a table saw or anything like that and I also have a table saw but I just don't like running these big sheets of plywood through it on my own because they can be pretty heavy. Thank you. 
During this entire project, I will be using the Craig pocket hole system to create pocket holes to attach my boxes together. I found that this system was the easiest method for me um, just so I can, I'm able to take it apart and just screw something in rather than having permanent nails in there. So if I did make a mistake, I could take it apart and fix that. Once my boxes are built, I'm attaching a scrap piece of wood to the back of it so I can use this piece to screw into the studs in the wall so my boxes won't move. I'm also securing my base to the studs in the wall so it won't move later down the line. And I'm just using my stud finder to find those studs. And then I'm also going to attach a piece of plywood to sit on top of the base. Once I'm finished building all of my boxes, I'm bringing them in the closet and securing them to the studs in the wall and each one just set in perfectly. I did all my measurements before I built everything out and I'm just bringing them in. Now some did fit pretty tight, but that's because I was trying to maximize my space as much as possible, especially this one. I had to literally squeeze it into that tight space. That's the thing about these closets. A lot of our closets are smaller, so you have to find a way to maximize the space as much as possible. I'm now using my table saw to strip down my plywood for my shelves and I'm also going to put pocket holes in there just like the rest of the pieces. So this is where we're at right so far didn't do anything yesterday so today's we're gonna make progress I'm gonna go ahead and secure these into the studs in the wall so they won't move out and then we're gonna put our shelving in I already pre-cut those so now I'm just gonna install those and then install the dividers right here but also we need to make a top row because I don't want to leave it like that I personally feel like it needs to go to the ceiling so that's what we're going to do. I'm now going to put my shelving in and I'm using some scrap pieces of wood to use for the distance. I just cut them down um, for the distance that I want my shelves to be. And this is a great guide. It's gonna make sure that you have equal distance. It's gonna be consistent throughout the closet. One is not gonna be 35 apart and then the next one is 36 inches apart.
I'm now building my, my overhead storage and I am using like a cubby system. I wanted it to be like that. So I'm going to build the boxes again, just the exact same way, but this one is not gonna have a bottom piece. So it only has three sides and for it to attach to my existing boxes, I'm just gonna create pocket holes on the bottom of those also and screw them directly into my boxes that are already there so they won't move now when i put these in i don't think they're going to go anywhere because it was a pretty tight fit but just for that additional security in my mind for so long Later. Okay guys, so here we are. I put these other cubbies in. I won't show you all fully, but I'm trying, I'm about to cut around this vent um, to make sure that I can put a cubby in because it kind of just looks weird without it. Like at first I was like, oh, I'm gonna try to fake it, but I really feel like it needs one. So what I'm gonna do is just cut a, like a square around there and then trim out the piece that I need and attach it from the back. So I'm gonna go in the garage, cut this wood down and we'll be back. And here is the final reveal. I am so in love with how everything is progressing so far. So much space is opening up. If you like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Next week, I will be doing the final reveal. So make sure you come back to see me build the shoe wall and the rest of the closet. I'll see you all next week. Bye.